Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing very well. In tonight's video, I will be reviewing the 2023 NRL Chicharri Shield Clash between the St. George Illawarra Dragons and the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Before I get into the video, I just want to make sure that if you are, if you knew, if you guys are new around here, if you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, yeah, make sure you do. You do not want to miss out on another. Um, video just like this. I will be doing such video as NRL tipping video, Super League tipping videos. Um, the Rugby League live series will be coming back when the season starts in about 10 days, roughly, or whenever from then. And then the occasional vlogs when I go to each game, each Rabbit Ace game. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So, overall, with the 2023 um, Charlie Char Shield kicks off. And then not till the third minute we get our third error from the Dragons from Ben Murdoch Masilla and then the next error was from Jacob Harris. And then about two and a half about one and a half minutes later, then we get our first try of the match, which is from Thomas Burgess from the South Sydney Rabbitohs. So big Thomas Burgess scores the first try of the match. After a lovely try assist from Cameron Murray while the Dragons defence was terrible. So Thomas Burgess scores the first try for the Rabbits, making it lead 4-0. Then Latrell Mitchell converts the goal and make, make it 6-0. And then, not till the 11th minute, we get our second try of the match, which is scored by Cody Walker, with a lovely run through the gap there, making it 10, leading 10-0 to the Bunnies, before Latrell Mitchell converts the goal again to, to lead 12-0. After 12 minutes gone, and during that time, we had two penalties: one from the Rabbitohs to, to Jacob Hose for running 10 meters, and then one for Ben Hunt for um, running offside inside 10 meters. Then, then Tyrell Sloan um, um, cops a penalty in the 12th minute. Then we get an unexpected forward pass from Damian Cook. It happened twice in this game, I believe, for Damien Cook. And then we get another error from Jacob Host. Rock, so we get a, then we in the 16th minute we get a um, 10 meet, um, six uh, sorry a six tackle restart from Lachlan Ilias. Oh no, sorry for the Dragons. My apologies. An error from Isaiah Tass. Error from Zach Lomax. Oh. So many errors in this game. I'm not going to go for all the errors. It's not till the 25th minute that Charlie Yance himself, Latrell Mitchell, scores the third try for the Rabbitohs, making it 16-0, and he converts the go his own goal to make it 18-0. And then we, the Rabbitohs, sorry, the Panthers, uh, sorry, the Dragons uh, receive a penalty after a high dangerous tackle with Aaron Woods. That happened twice in this matchup as well. And then the 28th minute, Jai Arrow goes over, just make it 22 nil. Now, before and Latrell Mitchell to convert the goal to make it 24 nil. Now, during this period, or during the 28th minute, the announcer said that Jacob Host scored the damn try. How do you get Jacob Host confused with Jai Arrow? Yeah, Jacob Host started on the starting starting sign because um, Jai Arrow was put back on the bench, but I don't know how the hell you get them to uh, mixed up. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to SS Stormfin, who was a, a fellow rugby league YouTuber himself. He he let he let me know about this. I actually did not know about the announcer botch during the live replay once he told me, and then I checked. Um, the highlights of the matchup, and clearly I can hear one of the announcers saying, um, Jaggy Post going over the line. But anyways, 24, what a horrendous botch, honestly. But anyways, 24 nil from, with a conversion from Latrell Mitchell. And then, and then in the, about 20 seconds to go, a second high tackle from Aaron Woods, this time on to Campbell Graham. I don't know how he didn't like get on a report or get sent to the bin. Um, and then um, Latrell Mitchell converts the penalty got arm um, shot to lead 26 nil at half time. And then not even um, a minute, just over not under a minute into the match, 
Tyrion also knocks it on from the dragons. And then the same um, happens for Moses Sully in the 43rd minute, which comes to a captain's challenge, which was very, very unsuccessful. Claimed that one of the Rabbitohs players touched the ball, and which clearly that they, they didn't. So they, so their captain's challenge was unsuccessful, meaning they couldn't use any more after the match. And then Moses Enby um, got put on report. I didn't see what, what that was. Um, let someone let me know down below why he was on report. And then in the 45th minute, we finally get our next try. And once again, it's from the South Sydney Rabbitohs with David Malawi um, scoring the try. And then Latrell Mitchell converting the goal to lead 32 0. Unbelievable. I thought this was going to be a smash out and make it 50 0 or whatever, but that wasn't the case. And then four minutes later, the Dragons finally get their first try in the match from Moses M. By. And then Zach Lomax converts the goal to make it 32 6. Unbelievable. And then, not till the 58th minute, that we get another captain's challenge. This time from those Rabbitohs, which is unsuccessful. Claims that um, Campbell Graham knocked on the ball and he failed to catch it in time. Or to get a clean conversion, so it was a knock-on, and Bramlos used up their captain's challenge as well. Not long after, Dragons will go on to score their second try in the match from Jaden Sullivan, and Zach Lomitz convert the, converted the goal again to lead it, to make it 32-12. Maybe the Dragons had a chance in this um, moment, but clearly that wasn't the case after the Bunnies would score a try two minutes later in the sixth second minute from Cody Walker again so he got two tries in this game to make to make it 38-12 after the trail Mitchell converts again once again then three two minutes later Matt Feigart uh, scores the third try for the Dragons and then Zach Lomax converts the goal to make it 38-18 with 14 minutes to go. And then the Bunnies in the 73rd minute um, will get their final try of the match. Excuse me, to make it 42 18. And unfortunately, Black Taff, which, which Latrell Mitchell went off for the rest of the game by that point, he missed the conversion. And then in the 76th minute, Jacob Little, the New Dragons hooker would score for the Dragons to lead to make it 42-22, and then Jane Sullivan score um, converted the goal to make the final score 42-24, and then full time happens. So the official score was 42 to the Bunnies, 24 to the Dragons. Ravenos claiming back the charity shield, the shield for the first time since 2021 after the shocking upset from last year. Where they lost 16-10. And the Dragons finally won their first charity shield in almost a bloody decade. Unbelievable. But anyways, let's get into the stat, some of the stats of the um, game, shall we? So both of the teams have roughly 50% of the possession of the ball. Dragons completion rate was 23 out of 39, which that's really horrible. 58%. While the Rabbitohs was a lot more better with 28 out of 40. 40 with a completion rate of 70. So for the attack, all runs 166 for 166 runs for the Dragons, while 176 for the um, Rabbitohs. 1,458 meters ran for the Dragons, while the Bunnies ran for 1,517 meters. Post contact meters 470 for Dragons, 505 for the Rabbitohs, six line breaks each, six line breaks each for both of the teams. 33 tackle breaks to the Dragons, 22 to the Rabbitohs. Average set distance, 37.41 for Dragons and 37.93 for the Rabbitohs. Kicking run meters, kick return meters, 97 for the Dragons, 112 for the Rabbitohs. So Dragons had 18 offloads, while the Rabbitohs have 7. Receipts, 397 for the Dragons and 371 for the Rabbitohs. Total passes, 226 for Dragons, 207 for the Rabbitohs. 14 dummy passes for Dragons and 9 for the Rabbits. 
Excuse me. Dragons had 12 kicks while the Rabbitohs had 13. Kicking meters 274 for the Dragons while Rabbitohs had 389. Dragons had one forced dropout while the Bunnies had two. Kick to field to no, no, nothing for the Dragons. 75% for the um, Rabbits. Four bombs to the Dragons, one for the Bunnies. Four grubbers to Dragons and two for the Bunnies. So, 319 tackles for Dragons and 268 for the Rabbits, which Rabbits are the better team for this. So 90% defensive for the, or 91% for Dragons, while 80% for the Rabbits. One intercept for, for the Bunnies. 22 missed tackles for Dragons, 33 for the Rabbits. Ineffective tackles, 10 for Dragons, 34 for, um, yeah, 34 for Rabbits. And then we had one player on report for the Dragons. Rabbitohs were penalised for three times inside 10 metres. Two ruck infringements from Dragons, one for, for the Rabbits. Dragons conceded six penalties while the Rabbitohs conceded three. Now we got 12 errors for the Rabbits, 16 for the Dragons. Unbelievable. And then 13 um, inter interchanges each for both of the teams. Uh, anyways, in my overall, it's well deserved that the Rabbitohs um, won the Charity Shield. I didn't expect it to be a 26-0 halftime lead for them. Dragons were pretty, um, um, pretty shit in defence and attack as well. I mean, I'm managed. I'm surprised that they managed to score at all. In but they scored all their points in the second half. But, overall, great, great victory for the boys. I think it's well deserved. Rabbitohs claim their 18th char charity shield. Or, if you want to be more precise, their 23rd. As they've retained it with 5 draws. But, I'm going to say it's their 18th. Because, um, I don't really count the draws. But, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the match. I gladly enjoyed it. Now, I didn't go to the game. Obviously, it's in Mudgy. I've bit, well, I'm way too far from Mudgy. But I'm probably I might consider going to a Chat Charity Shield game for the first time in a lot of years um, in the future. But overall, my top three players overall for this game. Oh, it's a bit tough. But for number three, it had to go to has to go to Cameron Murray. Up, uh, not Cameron Murray. Sorry, Latrell Mitchell. I reckon he played very well in this game today. Well, he was a bit quiet at times, but he played very well and he scored that magnificent try. My second one has to go to Cameron Murray. Two or three try assists and he played and it was nice to see him play in action for the first time since the pre prelim final. Uh, he played outstanding tonight. Uh, he stayed on for most of the game as well, which that's a surprise considering um that uh, mean of our big guns did rest up for the rest of the game. And number one is obviously has to go to Cody Walker, scoring two tries with one with one try assist as well in the game. And especially that first try he scored was the better of the two. Unbelievable. He played very well in this match. But anyways, everyone, this will conclude my review of the 2023 NRL Charity Shield. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I'm glad the Rabbitohs won, and I look forward to the Rabbitohs playing in exactly two weeks when we play against the Cronulla Sharks in Round 1 at Points Bet Stadium. Uh, this, uh, that will be a nail-biting con nail context. While the Dragons will be playing... Uh, we'll be playing until round two, the very last game against the Gold Coast Titans. So they're going to be waiting a while. But anyways, everyone, I'll see each and every one of you in the next video. Take care.